So this is the muscles of the thoracic cage. We're just going to be talking about four of them. Four of them that are associate themselves with these ribs. You'll notice that in between the ribs there's going to be two of them that I want you to know. Uh, the first two, again, holding to the principle is that externals are coming from the V's, from the shoulders down, so they, they form a V pattern, and then the internals will always go into A. Uh, so in between the ribs are going to be intercostals. If you look closely, you'll notice muscle fibers that come straight down like this. These are the V ones. You you can see them slip like this and this and here. Those would be the external intercostals. While the ones, all these now, since they're coming in the A's, would be the internal intercostals. So that's one of two. And then if I were to take this off, thank you. There is the muscle on the posterior side thank you. of the ribcage, that would be the transversus thoracis. As you can imagine, I know that those does not look as transverse, but this is what we call the transversus thoracis, cutting across uh, the posterior side of the thoracic cage. The third and final muscle would actually be the thoracic diaphragm. Uh, this is the, it would just kind of rest something like this, separating out between the rib cage, or sorry, between the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity. So this would be the thoracic diaphragm, so that's one. As you can see, these muscle fibers, these are the internal intercostals, just like these would be internal intercostals with the thoracic, transversus thoracis. And then on the sides here would be the external intercostals.